Okay, let's jump uh, back uh, into development. Uh, we have this tool here, it's just an example of a uh, neural, neural network training. I suspect the default parameters will have to be changed. At the moment, we're just loading the HTML and JavaScript. Python currently is empty, there is nothing happening in the back end. So if we increase the training size and hit the train button again, we'll see if it's doing any better. No. First hidden layer, that three, let's put it at the level five, train again, see how it goes. Uh, yeah, not much better. Let's uh, put the second hidden layer size to five, train again. Yeah, now it starts, no, it started starting converging. So noise level is fine as the noise level in the input. Now learning rate, actually restart this. They have a good thing about GPT-4 is that you can do this. And so we are changing parameters. I don't think the default parameters are very good. Now every time we train, the training loss uh, function is being added to the existing chart, which is a bit odd. We either want the first, the prediction chart to behave in the same way, where waveforms are added to the chart, or refresh uh, the chart every time we train any suggestions uh, welcome we have another problem we are currently not using a css well because the one we have is not working correctly can you regenerate the, or generate the css script the css is okay just want to make sure that on a bigger screen the controls should be on the side of the two charts and uh, on a smaller screen they can be below the charts a second thing we want the default the uh, values for the controls to be specified inside the html so any changes that you are suggesting please change the html with that and I'm suggesting to check the media. For some reason it's going for 768 pixels as a cutoff between a large and small screen. It's like, okay. Also, when you use any colors, can you use the following template? Uh, so start the CSS uh, script with these uh, five colors uh, defined. Yeah, that won't be helping adding more epochs if... Uh, can I get reduced? No. So why it's starting so high? It's starting from, uh, well, around four, then not really reducing. We change the learning rate. Number of epochs, no. Uh, there might be... Right. It was a bit odd. I reduced the noise level. All oh, right, that's work. Yeah, something's not right when you change parameters. The noise level should have uh, went away. It's not reducing, is it? Right, this is very. Uh, it's a bit odd. Yeah, let's sort out the CSS first. So we have the bot making this for us. It's now looking at the screen size. Uh, let's control F5 this. Yeah, it's not very great, is it? Yeah, the idea for it was... Uh, no, the previous version was better. Let's go back for the first uh, prompt. Yeah, really struggling with that CSS. They're meant to be displayed side by side, aren't they? But it doesn't fit. Yeah, I'm checking the media now. Uh, the display size. 
Yeah, it seems to be doing the right thing, but currently the problem with the CSS is that on a larger screen, the controllers don't seem to fit in the HTML. Can we go over each control and uh, change the default value so that the prediction converges better? Yeah, the CSS is not happening. Try to set hidden layer. Okay, so the hidden layer we suggest instead of 1 to 6, do 1 to 10 with a default value of 5. Can we try that straight away? Hidden layer 2 size, suggesting 0 to 10 with a default value of 3, which is kind of what we had. Uh, what else? Noise level. Yeah, I don't like that because it's defaulting to zero noise. Well, actually, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Default to zero noise for a second. Now, learning rate. Uh, learning rate a bit odd. Instead of maximum of 0.3, suggesting a maximum of 0.1. Okay, I think this will make much uh, difference with. Is it converging? It's going down. So I could possibly add more epochs, but I don't think it's going down uh, sharply enough. Okay, epochs. And instead of uh, 100, suggesting a default of uh, 200, I think we can leave with that. Yeah, nothing converges. That's not cool. A batch size suggesting default of 10. Okay, let's try it out. I don't understand it uh, jumping around like this. Don't get it. What's the point? Why, why is it doing that? Activation function will have the same ones. And the default will be the first one, is it? Yeah, that remains the same. Optimizer item is default. That remains the same. And loss function. Yeah, that doesn't converge, does it? No, actually, do something else. Do a print screen quickly. Hey, without a prompt, see what it says. It's not why it's a uh, jumpy like that, it's essentially going through 0 0.1, 0 0.5, keeps jumping around. That's not cool. I don't know why it does that. There must be something wrong. We don't need this comments. I don't do we need any comments now that uh, you have LLMs explaining you the code. I don't think you need any comments. Well, nobody will be reading code anymore as well. What do you think of that? And should you be scared as a software developer? Probably yes. Just doing it while the, thing, the bot is generating stuff. Yes, it's obviously doing better. And if there's zero... 0 0.03 learning rate. It's not uh, going any lower. Going down to 0 0.1 with uh, 0 0.035. Need some sort of table for the sessions. A uh, question is how can I monitor performance? of uh, different sessions or between different sessions no sorry between different trainings of the one uh, session using the application zero four five so getting down to point two it's worse three five was better about zero two nine. Yeah, so there's this magic number. It's not 
cool. And I think this is what a lot of people are trying to do. They just uh, manually fine tuning stuff um, endlessly. So this is what you see with a lot of the Kaggle competitions where competitors are allowed to submit, uh, I don't know, like 100 submissions per day. Just worried it's uh, jumping around like that as well. Like in this uh, image, um, also why in this image the training loss function is jumping between 0 0.5 to 0 0.165. Yeah, I like the console logging with the run number of GitHub uh, Copal are trying to fix this currently don't have this variables okay how do you uh, do the hypothesis driven experimentation in this case it should have been a simple task edge size of 20 doesn't do any better yeah, it's behaving that the uh, oddly this one zero point two five does get to point one. Yeah obviously adding more epochs doesn't help in this case. How about uh, increasing the training set size? I don't think that will do much. But we can try out. That's what we have this tool for. Yeah, that was performing better before. Yeah, this is a bit odd. So let me control F5. 0 to 5 should give me 0.1. Now it's not converging anymore. But, uh, yeah, something isn't right. So I don't get it. Shouldn't be deterministic. Okay, if I go uh, learning rate and 0. If this is my learning rate. Yeah, now I'm getting point, yeah, between point 0.14 to point 0.23. Let's just grab it for a sec. I'm trying to understand. Yeah, probably someone is shouting at me. But why for the same waveform? So the waveform doesn't have any noise in it. The noise is zero. Why am I getting different results? Yeah, the um, input, uh, the training data is the same. So if the training data is the same and the noise level is zero, why am I getting different results every time? Doing uh, 200 uh, epochs is randomness in the process. Random initialization, data shuffling, stochastic gradient descent. Hardware, hardware, what? Parallelism and concurrency. It's really weird. Yeah, right, we might have to continue this next time. So we will have uh, some sort of metric of uh, how the performance was uh, tracking over, you know, when you load the page, you hit the uh, train neural net multiple times. It will have, uh, we'll have some sort of table that will uh, monitor its performance over time. We need some more changes to the code to be able to do that. Do we need to change the model or something? I'm not sure. Uh, we have all that stuff in the description of the HTML. And we will continue from there. Hopefully we'll make this tool available for you soon on the website somewhere. Probably be, you know, the first uh, at the top. And if you haven't checked the uh, Pony Chaos yet, please go do so. There's a lot of interesting tools. You will be supporting the project this way by watching some advertisement. And hopefully you find something useful. And uh, let me know how you go. And don't forget to leave comments with your feedback. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.